Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question. I'm definitely going to keep this one anonymous. This is an interesting, interesting problem here titled, Should I Sell? So I thought I would give my advice on this. I've actually emailed the gentleman privately to, to give some advice, but I, I thought this is an interesting topic for a video. He says, hey, John, so I made this sick ass algorithm for my job and now my boss is offering me $500,000 to buy it for me. I'm in college. I work part time in a call center. I'm fairly new to programming, so you can imagine my surprise. I created an algorithm that looks into the call center database and determines which customers are more likely to buy our products based on a shit ton of factors. It took me about five months to complete it. I gave out a list of who to call to the workers and our sales increased from 45% to over 90 fucking percent over a period of two months. My boss now wants to buy the algorithm from me, but the people around me are saying to license the software. I'm thinking of licensing it, even though I have no idea how, what do you think? Please keep my name private. Well, I've done that part. <laughs> so this is interesting. There's, there's a, I've got a few thoughts in here. I don't have enough details to really give like some great advice here, but I, I, I can, I can tell you where I would start and what I would do and what, I, how I would kind of figure this out. Because, uh, okay, if someone's offering you five hundred thousand dollars for the algorithm, if they're just flat out offering you that amount of money, it's probably worth a great deal more than that, I would assume. And it's kind of crazy, you know, like that, that number doesn't mean anything in itself. Is five hundred thousand dollars good? I don't know. You know, now there's what I'm going to say has some risk to it. So here's something to consider for you and being a college student working part time. Five hundred thousand dollars is probably life changing money. It's probably drastically life changing money. Now, you're not going to be rich. You're not going to retire, but it could greatly alter the course of your life, especially if you took that five hundred thousand dollars and invested that money. That could be really, really a good thing. So it could it could totally affect the, the outcome of your life. So you, you got to be a little careful here. You definitely don't want to lose that if, if you, you know, but at the same time, I wouldn't just be so scared that I just take the money and, and run, right? I, I want to still optimize this as much as possible. And, and even that $500,000 is not guaranteed at this point, because just because he said he'll give you 500,000 doesn't mean that you're actually going to sign the paper and get the check, right? So that that's something to consider as well. So now, what would I what would I do here? So I don't know what five hundred thousand dollars is. I don't know if it's a good offer or a bad offer, right? Maybe your algorithm's worth five million dollars, maybe it's worth fifty million dollars, maybe it's worth fifty cents. I don't know, right? So how do we figure that out? The the best way to figure that out, I would suggest, is that you go and you figure out about how much money that you you are making that algorithm is making the call center per month so you can kind of figure out probably estimate what the profit margin is how much units extra are being sold you said you went from 45 percent to over 90 percent success rate that's probably pretty damn good so figure out how much money what does that equate to you know you're going to probably have to come up with some rough numbers but you can probably figure them out i'm sure if you've come up with this algorithm if you have that much data you probably have enough data to figure out how much profit's being generated and how much more your algorithms being generated so let's say that your algorithm is generating five hundred thousand dollars more of profit a month i don't know how big this call center is i don't know how big this company is so i'm just spitballing just throwing out numbers here if it's generating them an extra five hundred thousand dollars a month right then that's you know like five million dollars a year more than five million dollars a year like six million dollars a year Okay, that's pretty good. That five hundred thousand dollars that they're offering you is peanuts. In that, in that case, right? What you want to probably be looking at. Let's say that you're making them six six million dollars extra a year, and that's probably a, a really unrealistic number. But maybe it is. I don't know, right? But let's just throw that out. Let's say you're making them six million dollars more a year. You got to think about the time to recoup an investment. So if they're going to make six million dollars a year you could probably charge them at a minimum six million dollars because they're going to recoup that cost in one year's time and every year after that will be a profit now there's a, a risk right your algorithm might not continue to work or there you know there might be some some issues there so maybe maybe they're not going to give you that multiplier of, of what you know of what you expect but you know you, you could probably figure something out so i would say that 
at the at the minimum you should be able to charge them 20 percent of what they're going to save or what they're going to make over the next five years which works out to be about what they're going to make in a year now they're going to project growth so that's why i, I said that 20 percent number but probably you're going to be able to get you know one year's worth of of the savings right it, it would be reasonable like think about flip the table and think about if you're the business owner if you're you own this business if you can recoup your costs if you can pay you know six million dollars to get an algorithm that's going to generate you six million dollars pay for itself in the first year and then every other year after that will be profit of six million dollars would you not make that investment now, if you think that there's a high risk, this algorithm will stop working or that it's not going to generate as much as you're projecting, then maybe, you know, maybe you, you discount that number by 50% and say, well, I'd be willing to pay $3 million if it's going to probably generate me six, right? So that, that's at least you can come up with a, a, a negotiating spot from that. And if it were just rock solid and this business were rock solid and it's going to fuel the growth, then maybe your multiplier is two times what it's going to save them in a year or earn them extra in a year, you, you know, but it should be somewhere between that. I would say that I would be shooting somewhere between 1x and 2x, the, the yearly projected profit. Now, again, this is very subjective, but this is kind of where I would be aiming. With that said, I wouldn't be aiming for just cash. I would want to have some cash, right? So, because you don't want to just be royalties, right? Because you don't want to take the full risk. You want to get some money. So I would want to take some cash and then some royalties. So what I would be inclined to do would be to take whatever that cash offer is going to be, cut it in half, and instead get in exchange some percentage of the profits or, or the sales royalty some kind of arrangement with that so not, not necessarily licensing i guess maybe it's licensing but where you're giving them the algorithm you're not just licensing it to them and and you're going to get a percentage right so you're actually selling it because if you just did a licensing deal you would still retain the rights but they're probably not going to pay you money to to own that thing and, and are you really going to be able to shop those around and maybe you can if you if it's this rock solid maybe you can sell it to someone else but that's i think that's the complexity that you don't have the resources to be able to handle at this point being a college student and, and working part-time right and, and and maybe you can bring in some big licensing firm a law firm to be able to do that but you, you're probably going to get skinned if you do that they're probably going to rip you off in some way so i would try to avoid that as much as possible and said i would just say look what, what can i do you're going to get six million dollars maybe you say no i how about if you give me three million and then you give me ten percent of everything you make above the baseline of what you were making before you started using the algorithm okay and 10 percent of those profits of the, you know of the additional money that you're making in continuity for the for the, the life of your your company that seems like a pretty good deal if you can arrange something like that even if it's a little bit less percent but i would be trying to do that this way you've got a, an unbounded upside i did this video on unbounded upsides, right? And this is what you want to do. If you just take the cash, you're going to get the cash and it's going to be a lot of money, but it doesn't have an unbounded upside. Whereas if you have the cash plus you have some kind of royalty arrangement, now you you've got something that can keep going up that it could be it could be worth millions of the royalties, excuse me, the royalties that you pay on it could be worth more than the actual cash that you got for the algorithm in the first place, right? Or than the full cash payment because over time you know that company let's say that they use your algorithm and it causes them to have explosive growth and they have like 100x growth now that revenue that little royalty you got is going to be worth a ton of money so that that would be something that that i would try to negotiate well i hope that helps again i don't have a lot of details here because you know i I, I, so it's just really hard to negotiate when, when you don't have the details but this is this is the way that i'd be thinking about this and also you know again i'm not a lawyer i this is not legal advice i, I i'm just giving you my opinion as a lay person how i would negotiate this but you might want to contact one you might want to talk to a licensing attorney or have someone represent you and you might want to like talk to someone who's done deals like this before you might want to look for someone who's done deals like this before who's licensed software algorithms or sold software algorithms i'm sure if you do a search you can find those kind of people and you might want to talk to them and, and see someone who's experienced with this might be able to help you to you just got to be careful that you don't get skinned here because you, you know whenever you come into a game and you're the person with the least amount of knowledge you're probably the person that is going to get 
skinned or you know you're in danger of that so you want to always have some ally on your side someone who understands the game you might even hire two lawyers one of them to look after your interests and one of them to you know to actually double check the second one to make sure that they're they're you know that, that's that you don't even let the first one know what's going on because it's you know when there's a lot of money it's, it's a bit of a dangerous game Good question, though. This is really interesting. Congratulations. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Like, I think in some way this is going to change your life. Hopefully. Hopefully. You know, let me know what happens. I want to know. I, I, I want to hear this. So, there you go. If you like this video, click the subscribe button below. If you don't like this video, click the subscribe button below anyway, and you can get triggered, you know, two to three times a day as I release videos. Talk to you next time. Take care.